we've got the car back down on the ground. We've got the rear end squared up. Wheels are going in the right direction. And Tim, did we get all that stuff tight back there? Yep, we went back through and double checked all the bolts that we loosened up to make the adjustments. Now I think we're ready to move on to the front of the car. And moving on to, into the front of the car, you know, having that rear end square like we have it makes for a great reference point in doing that tow. Some of the things that we found that make it easy to do the tow, you've got to make sure that those wheels are relaxed. A couple ways to do that are this expensive tow plate right here that we'll use in doing the caster and camber later on in the show. But this works kind of well right here. A couple pieces of aluminum plate. You can take a little bit of grease here. Just apply just a little bit. It doesn't take very much of this grease. <clears throat> and we'll put it between this. And it actually allows for some movement there and relaxing that thing. You know, what we want to do here, Tim, is, again, we're using this piece of uh, square tubing. You know, it comes in real handy. We've got a slot cut here in the end of it. We've got a string added to it. And, Tim, I'll let you have that end. And I'll take this end. <clears throat> and lining up on the vehicle back here in the back, what this do, will do will give you a perfect parallel way to line up that front tire. And, Tim, if you'll get that lined up. Okay, now I'm going to get the tires dead straight ahead with a string. Okay, now this side straight. That side straight. And, and why don't you go ahead and lock down the steering column. Okay, we'll take a pair of vice grips here that I happen to have in my pocket. And we'll lock down that steering column. All right, Tim, we'll, get, we'll take and uh, use our tow plates here that we've got made up. And I'll give you one for your side. Let's right. go ahead and move that vehicle back a little bit. Yep. Coaster back. All right, line them up. You got them pushed up there? Yep. And we'll line that thing back up. Right. Let's go ahead and chalk those wheels, and I'll get some tow plates. Yeah, it's a great idea to remember to chalk your wheels to keep your car from moving. Tim, you want to take that tow plate? All right. And we'll get a tape measure here. <clears throat> Basically, this is just a piece of metal that's true and square. And what we can do is we'll take a tape measure, and we'll run it across the back. You get that side, Tim? Yep. Okay, it's hooked. That's great. We'll take a measurement here. And... We are 48 and 3 eighths on that side, Jim. And it's real important not to move your plate at all when you're taking these measurements. And always use a one tape measure and the same tape measure to measure front and back to get an accurate measurement. Great, we've got 48 and 5 eighths on this end. Okay. Let's go ahead and take that loose on that side and we'll get a good adjustment going here. All right. Part of the thing of, of the tow on these vehicles are, if you want a vehicle to go down the straightaway really good, you want a little bit of tow on that because if the tires are towed in, you're going to get that vehicle wandering a little bit. So a little tow out is always good. It keeps the tire loaded, keeps the car pointed in the right direction, gives you that feel on the steering wheel you need. You got that loosened up? Yep. And we can go ahead and double check our measurement. Good deal. Yeah, we're probably going to need like another uh, 16th on that, but let's, let's check it here in the front. Do a little... Uh, Rip and take a little siphon. Give me another sixteenth on that. Make sure All that right. vehicle settles real good. That should do it. That's, let's bring it across here. Okay. Oh, I'm liking that. And bring it back to the front. What we're doing here is we want to make sure that we have a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch. And that's exactly what we have is an eighth of an inch of toe. You know, that's really going to help you get down the straightaway and get into that corner and give you that secure feeling you need going down the straightaway without a lot of wandering.